SSL launching both the UF8 8-channel DAW controller and UC1 one-knob per function plug-in controller in recent months has really got us thinking about the USC, or Ultimate Studio Console, a modular console capable of 100% in-the-box DAW controller-style glorified mouse functionality, but also with the ability to add optional 500 series modules, audio interface capability, monitor control, and optional analog summing for those that like to go down such routes so as you can take it all the way to a fully functioning analog console with full flying fader automation, should you wish. Something that professionals like us would use, but something also affordable and expandable for the home user. And with the SSL UF8 and UC1 looking eerily similar to some of the components found in their live consoles, we really think the time is now for such a product for us in the studio. Indeed, a lot of very sensible studio owners are using digital live desks in their studios for tracking. This has distinct advantages, mainly lots of high quality, quiet, clean, sonically identical mic preamps, easy audio connectivity via MADI, Dante or AVB into your DAW of choice, and with a suitable digital stage box in the live room, easy recallable monitoring for multiple musicians who can all be in charge of their own monitor mix and headphone volume using their smartphones, tablets, or by shouting more me into the live room listen mic in the traditional way. And when the band come back in to record that difficult second album a year later, you can simply recall all their settings from the previous session and at the very least use that as a solid starting point for the new session. Indeed, that's how we were recording here for the last five years or so before we finally closed the doors to tracking bands at the end of last year. The way live sound has evolved has embraced new digital audio technology and loudspeaker design, and there can be no doubt that attending a professionally produced live show in the 21st century is a sonically far superior experience than it was in the 20th and very few live acts are lugging around a 48-channel analog console with racks of outboard these days. And we think it's time the studio world caught up. And that's why we're called Present Day Production. We love 1176 compressors, LA2As and Pultec EQs just as much as the next person, but we don't need any more hardware or software clones of those thank you very much. We need forward-thinking companies to help reinvent how the modern recording and post-production studio works, and for that, they and we need to take some solid inspiration from both live world and film and TV world. Imagine an affordable modular console that gives you 12-channel motorized fader units that can be expanded as required by simply adding more units, a 12-channel encoder unit featuring rotary encoders and extra programmable buttons, a dedicated center section featuring monitor control and further custom button functionality, a series of frames it all fits in, and with the ability to give you a complete desk solution and screens or even build it into your own custom furniture if you wish, and audio expandability up to 200. 56 channels using MADI. Well, that product exists. It was developed by Fairlight in Australia, who then quickly got snapped up by Blackmagic Design, and it's a fantastic modular system that is seen in hundreds of film and TV post-production suites the world over. So why hasn't it found its way into traditional studio land? Well, two reasons. The first is that it only integrates with Blackmagic Design's own DaVinci Resolve video and audio editing post-production software. And the second is that an awful lot of recording studios are still stuck in 1975 because the old gear sounds so much better and, you know, the Beatles and shit. The Blackmagic solution is a supremely well thought out product and its truly modular and expandable design is just what we need in modern studio world. So why isn't anyone doing it? Well, maybe they are, but we just don't know it yet. It needs a company with studio heritage, the technical know-how, design and manufacturing capability. A company just like Solid State Logic. The UF8 we like, and although Mark doesn't like the extra functionality of all those programmable buttons, he loves the one knob per function design of the UC1, and being the kind of guy that uses one style of EQ and one style of compressor across every mixer channel, as a rule, as I used to when we were working purely in analog console world and recording to tape, would happily use the SSL Channel Strip 2 plugin across every channel of a mix. I tried the updated version for a few hours this morning, and it sounds 
absolutely fantastic. It sounds like the analog SSL EQ, and both the channel and bus compressors are out of this world. I had drums jumping out of the speakers and smacking me in the face in seconds. So to have physical knobs to control that and only that and use just that, I'm sold. The UC1 is on my shopping list for our mix room and it comes in at under 600 quid, including the plugins. That is affordable. So what we'd really like to see, as we mentioned in our previous SSL UF8 and UC1 videos, is this ecosystem becoming a complete custom console solution. And as I said earlier, looking at SSL's live consoles, it looks like that could happen. What we'd like to see next from SSL is a single fader controller that fits perfectly with the UF8 and UC1, something like the PreSonus fader port or Icon Platform Nano, but with SSL build quality and offering a built-in but expandable SSL style audio interface, monitor control functionality, dedicated transport controls, a jog shuttle wheel, and maybe even generic programmable plug-in style control with a decent display as seen in Blackmagic Design's center console. Make this so that it can fit in a rack next to the UC1, but also give us a larger rack mountable version with a keyboard and duality style trackball built in too, so we can ditch those from the desktop. We would then like to see various options for something to go above or around these. For those working in the box, it could be Blackmagic style encoder panels that can be angled above the UF8 and expanded to however many channels you want, with maybe a screen option or a dedicated metering section, or even just blank rack spaces to go above the UC1 and center section options, so as you could add in the SSL Fusion or whatever bus processing takes your fancy. But what would be amazing would be 19 inch rack mountable 500 series enclosures in which you can fit eight 500 series units of your choice that line up with the faders and channels on the UF8. The UF8 is already rack mountable so this could be easily engineered with suitable spaces between the 500 slots if necessary. We're then heading towards a truly hybrid solution that not only works but is affordable, can fit in a standard rack or have custom studio furniture made that it simply drops into. Again, Blackmagic design style. SSL could make an expandable hardware solution that enables all of this to fit together, but because it's all based around standard 19 inch rack modules, you could chuck it in a flight case and go out and mix a live show and record the band at the same time if you wanted to. SSL already make remote mic pre's for their live desks, so these could easily be incorporated into Studio World and placed in a live room and simply connect to the center section of the custom console using a Cat5 or Cat6 cable and then be fed straight into your door of choice. The programmable knob sections can then be easily used to send different mixes to different musicians or program to do whatever you want. If you want to remain entirely analog on the way in, don't buy the encoder section, buy the 500 series sections and populate each of those with 500 series SSL VHD preamps or whatever flavor of preamp you prefer. Again, because we're basing this on the standard 19 inch rack format, you could add an SSL Sigma Delta for analog summing if you want an analog desk or further control or metering options if you're happy working entirely in the box. A true, fully expandable, fully customizable console solution for the 21st century that can be as simple as eight channel fader control over your door or dedicated hardware control over a single plugin as is already offered, but is truly expandable to any number of physical inputs, outputs and mic pre's using your existing technology from Live World. So as we can make a customized, tightly integrated console to suit our mixing workflow in 2021 and Bob down the road can make one to suit his workflow and Sally in Nash can make one to suit her drum tracking business. I can have a smaller single UFA and center section and maybe fusion in here for my mastering work and so on and so on. It's about time this happened and SSL, you may already be working on this from what we've seen from you so far this year. But if you're not, then you damn well should be and look at what Blackmagic are doing. If I was mixing and mastering in DaVinci Resolve, then I'd be using their solution. But I think it could be a little cheaper and I think SSL are the cats to pull this off. They're already halfway there. If you want me to master your music, then you can get 50% off using the promo code YouTube. The link below is in the description. And if you're not sure if your mixes are ready for mastering yet, then 
send them through anyway we'll have a listen and if they're not then we'll get you there that's what we're about that's what this youtube is about it's all about getting the best out of your music please hit subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to ding the ding dong to be notified of future videos and you'll see us in the next one